Hey, 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 what's going on? It's David. Uh, I want to create a video over installing Python 3. I had a lot of issues when I first went to go install this, so I kind of want to help out everybody and come up with one video that hopefully you can find out how to do it. Um, so I'm, this is for Windows 10, and if you come up here, you're going to start out by going to python.org in the web browser. That'll take you to the main page, and then you'll go to downloads. Um, as I mentioned, I'm on Windows 10, uh, so this one is actually fine for me. If I was on a different operating system, I would want to click one of these bars. Or if I wanted a different version other than 3.9.1, I'd want to click the Windows button to take me to a list of different downloads. Um, I enjoy having the latest one, so I'm going to go ahead and click this. Uh, download is super quick. I can see down here that it already finished. If this didn't come up on my screen for some reason, I can actually open up the downloads folder by going through Google Chrome, and then I can see it here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this. Um, and then this screen is the setup, and I'm actually going to use this path to manually set up the path, um, or this directory to manually set up the path. Um, ideally, you should be able to click this and it'll install it automatically but I wouldn't go through not being able to do that. So I'm just gonna click this. Um, and while this is installing, I wanted to kind of show you what you should see differently. On Windows, if I click the window, Windows button and I type in CMD, it should open up the command prompt. So when I open up the command prompt, it'll take me here. And ideally what you should be able to do is type in Python space hyphen hyphen version, and it should show you the current version. As you can see here, my computer is already, already running Python 2.7. Uh, Python 2 and Python 3, while kind of the same language, the syntax is drastically different. So if you're using Python 2, you won't be able to use those commands in Python 3 and vice versa. Because I'm doing the Python for Everyone course, I'm going to want to make sure that Python 3 is installed. Um, so ideally, I should be able to type in Python 3 hyphen hyphen version and I'll show you that. Um, if I use Python 3 it should open terminal or a uh, open Python 3 inside the terminal and it doesn't. So it's not installed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and quit out of this and go back to my install and wait for it to finish. Alright, uh, Python 3 setup is successful. Fantastic. Um, so ideally, kind of what we were just talking about, if I just typed in Python 3, uh, it should come up. It doesn't. So I'm going to have to add this to my path. And that's going to be that directory it showed earlier where it's putting the installation file. So this is a little bit tricky. Um, once you do it once, you should be able to do it. I will link the thing below. But you should be able to... Um, click on the Windows and go to this PC. And this is going to be your computer. From here, you can double click Windows, the C drive. You want to go to Users. You want to go to your name. And then here, you'll want to go to a, a folder called App Data. And then from here, you want to go to local. And then scroll down, and there'll be a folder called programs. And then programs, there should be a folder called Python. And then Python 3.9, which is what we installed, 3.9.1. And if you open up this, you should see a python.exe. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to add this folder to path. So when you type in Python, it knows to look for that Python executable. So from this folder, you can click up here in the search or the directory bar. If you click by it, it should give you the full directory in this kind of format. And you can right click and copy. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you click back on the Windows key and type in system environment. And it should bring up this thing called system properties. If you can't find that system environment thing, that's fine. You'll want to click on the Windows thing and type in Control Panel. When you're at Control Panel, you'll want to hit System. 
or system insecurity, I'm sorry. You want to hit the system drop down. And then from here, you want to hit advanced system settings. Uh, and then this will bring you to this page, which is where this environment variables tab is. So go ahead and click that. And then in here, I can see these all these variables, which is just Windows way of assigning, um, if you give it a word, telling it where to actually find that program. So I'm going to add it to the path down here in the system variables. So if I look down here, there's a path. So if I click this and hit edit, I can see everything that's already in here. Um, so this Python 2.7 is where my actual python.exe is running when I type in Python in the command prompt. So I'm going to want to add one for Python 3. So what I do is I hit new, and then I paste in that directory we found earlier, which um, if you're still, or if you lost it, it should be the C drive, users, your name, folder called app data, local, programs, Python, Python 3.9. And go ahead and hit OK. I'm actually kind of interested what I have. Is that, oh, yeah, I already had a path folder for it, or a path variable for it. Um, so go ahead and hit OK. Hit OK. And then you should be able to go back to command prompt and just type in Python, once again, hyphen hyphen version, and this should work. Unfortunately for me, it doesn't. And that's because I now have two folders in my path that I'm both calling Python. So in this case, when I type in Python, it just auto automatically goes to the 2.7 because it's also in the path folder above it. And it works its way down through the path folder. Um, so the one way I can get around this is if I go back to where this actually is. So I'm in back in my user app data local programs, Python, Python 3.9. This is called python.exe, and this is the exe executable that it's looking for. So if I wanted to rename this, I could just right click it and go to rename, and then add a three on the end. And on snap python3.exe. And now, when I run this, it should say python3.9.1, which is exactly what we want. Because what that's doing is it's looking for that name of the exe. So I can change this to be whatever I want. So if you only have, if this is the only version of Python, it's probably fine just being called Python. If you have a version, you know, a Python 2 and a Python 3, this is a good way of keeping them separate. Um, so that's how I did it. And I wanted to share. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any issues. And thanks a lot.